what is up legends we're on the hunt today and uh i have a few objectives today we're going to check out gamestop first i'm still trying to find those uh, zacian and zamazanta booster boxes and also we're going to check out two walmarts um because you know i've checked uh three walmarts in my area and pretty much all of them have said that they are not carrying pokemon cards anymore uh, but there's two more out this way that i'm going to check and uh yeah, I'm curious to know if you guys have found anything at Walmart recently. I feel like I see some other YouTubers finding some stuff, but so far in all, all my Walmarts in this area, they're not stocking them at all. Uh, but let's check out some stores. GameStop had nothing but battle decks, so we'll move on to the next one. I think there's a Barnes & Noble right next door here. If you're new here, my name is Luke. After 20 years, I got back into my childhood hobby of collecting Pokemon cards and having a blast with it. So I hope you'll come along the journey with me by subscribing. But yeah, let's check out Barnes & Noble next. Oh my goodness, I did not expect to find this at Barnes & Noble of all places. Honestly, I didn't even get to see which one it was, but let's see here. This is the Zacian one. If you can see it here, it's pretty awesome. And to be totally honest, I really don't know what I'm going to do with this. I don't know if I'm going to open it. It's just such a cool booster box. I don't really even, I didn't think I was going to be collecting many sealed product but this one is just so cool it looks so sleek i don't know we'll have to decide guys we probably could end the hunt here but uh are we going to of course not oh yeah and i also can't ignore the fact that there was a lot of product at that barnes and noble did you see that um and there was also like this uh ev blister pack that came with an ev card and several battle styles i would have been tempted to get that if they didn't have the uh zacian box there uh, so that's pretty cool. I'm kind of running low on my budget though, so can't get too much left, guys. But we are going to check uh, Walgreens next and two Walmarts because, again, I do want to see if um, they are still carrying products at these places. Okay. Got an Aracudo. I actually got pulled something pretty good from this last time, the Charmander version. Several things today. So I didn't end up getting anything there, but uh, that Walgreens has been good to me so far. I've found stuff both times I've been there. But uh, we are here on my lunch break, so uh, trying to eat while uh, we're on the hunt. And then uh, I have to get back to work, unfortunately. Thinking about getting this mystery queue, I'm not sure yet, but uh, it's pretty cool. Alright guys, well that was such a tough decision. I ended up deciding not to get the mystery power cube. Uh, just quickly scan through some YouTube videos to see what the consensus is on it. And it sounds like some may have some EX cards in them, but it doesn't sound like the best. I don't know, it was tough. But uh, I will say that I stand corrected and uh, there are still some Walmarts that are carrying Pokemon cards. It seems like uh, it's just kind of a case by case basis. Some of them are carrying them still, some of them aren't. All right guys, before we hit up this last Walmart, 
Let's go check out Five Below real quick, which is right next door. I feel like this is where I found it last time. I had more of a budget right now I may have to get both of those but fortunately not today but uh turns out some Walmarts still do quite a, have quite a bit of product in my area it's two out of the three all right guys well I have a decision to make am I going to open up this Zacian box or should I hodl it I'm curious to know what you guys would do let me know by commenting below um, so I don't know if we'll be opening that today, but we will open something up back at home. So let's go. All right, guys, we are back. And of course, uh, let's give you a quick close up of this Zacian, Zacian box, however you pronounce it. It's, uh, it's really cool. I mean, you know, I don't know if I'm really planning to collect sealed product, but if I was, this would be the one to collect. I mean, it's, it's premium. It's pretty cool. I'm really tempted to open it, um, but we're going to hold on to it for a little bit and I'm going to wait and see what you guys say in the comments. And if enough of you really want me to open it, I probably will end up doing that. But uh, what I actually ended up doing is going back to Walmart after the fact because there was just so much product. I, I really couldn't believe it. I must have hit it right on the right day. I went back and uh, I actually ended up picking up this uh, Shining Fates box, uh, ETB. Um, and by the way, there, uh, there were the Zacian and Zamazantan, um, boxes there. When I went back, they were gone. Uh, but they did still have several of these. And I was thinking that I would actually just kind of go and sell this, maybe make a quick buck so I can, um, purchase some other products that I really like. But honestly, now that I have it, I'm kind of wanting to open it. I've actually never opened an ETB before, which is kind of crazy. Um, so I think this is what we're going to open today. So you guys get to enjoy my first ETB opening with me. So let's go. I am pretty excited about this. As I mentioned before, I haven't been as excited about the Shining Fates set, mostly just because it doesn't have a ton of, um, of the original 150, 250 Pokemon of the first two generations. But I also know there's a chance we could get a Charizard in here. Wouldn't that be crazy? Right, let's get this out of here. Oh, nice. Player's Guide. I could probably use this because I don't really remember how to play. It's pretty cool. So this is cool. I mean, definitely worthwhile for that. I kind of need some more sleeves, actually. We have about three or four left over here. Let's open up this, because the hope is that we're actually going to need these. Okay, those ones are ready for us. Some dice. I don't even know what that's for. I guess that's part of the game. I don't really remember dice being a part of the game. This is cool. Nice container to keep cards in. I definitely see that this is worth the money. I think definitely pretty pricey, 50 bucks, but um, I, think, uh, I think we'll get our money's worth, hopefully. And I think if nothing else, I really wanted this EVV Max. Uh, this only comes in this ETB, so yeah, super excited about that. I love EV. So let's uh, get our good pile going right here. Some card dividers, nice. Okay, we got all of our 
energies, maybe trainers in here, I'm not sure, but we'll uh, leave that alone. And a code card for anybody who wants it. Alright, this is going to be a pretty long video between the hunt and uh, opening all these, but uh, let's get started, guys. Some nicks on these. Alright. Here we go. Ball Guy. Dartrix. Eldegoss. Rowlet. Trapitch. Weasel. Coughing. Shinx. Reverse Horsey. That's pretty cool. I don't think I have that one. Nice. Next we have Zarud. How Zarud? Horsey over here. Yeah, the white code card didn't really pay off in that last one. Rusted Shield, Dartrix, Eldegoss, Coughing, more Peko, or more Pico, depending on who you are, Horsey, Spinark, Rowlet, Reverse Rowlet, and Dreadnaw. Okay, is the rare. That just means the best is yet to come. Eldegoss, Gym Trainer, Spinark, Rowlet, more Peko, more Pico. This one's very similar to the last one. Nicket, Eevee, Reverse Gossifleur, or Gossifleur, Boss's Orders. Okay, so that's the rare. Very interesting. I'm noticing that there are some nicks on these cards. Interesting. Okay. Next. Fire energy. Gym trainer. Rusted sword. Cramorant. Coughing. Shanks. Guruki. Trapinch, Yanma, Reverse, Team Yell Towel, and Volcanion. Okay. Man, we have not hit anything really so far. Quite a bit, quite a big pile over here. Psychic, Eldegoss, Cramorant, Ball Guy, everybody's favorite Ball Guy, Trapinch, Yanma, Cuffing, more Pico, Horsey, Reverse Luxray, that's pretty cool, and Hollow Rillaboom, okay. I actually already have this one, but it's a pretty cool card. So I have one to keep. One to keep. And one that maybe I can trade to someone. Because I actually do kind of like that card. So we got. Oops. Got five packs left. And guys, we need to get some hits in here. This is ridiculous so far. Ooh, no 
Dev Stress Quadrille. Tropius, Cramorant, Thwacky, Shanks, Snicket, Rowlet, Shrapinch, Weasel. Ooh, nice! All right, I, I really like this card. We actually pulled the uh, the Japanese version of uh, Rushrim, so this is like the um, I don't know secret rare, I think. Yeah, but I, I just love the, the colors on this. And we got something else. Okay, mana fee, but that counts as a hit, right? Let's uh, stick it in a sleeve. show you the um, Japanese version as well which uh, yeah look pretty similar just this one has the gray border so. all right four packs left Oops. how many of you guys have opened one of these ETBs before if you guys got any good hits, let me know in the comments below. Two, three, four. Okay. Water energy. Get this jungle pile out of the way. All guy. Rusted shield. Team Yell Towel. Rowlet. Coughing. Shinks. Reverse Fall Canyon, okay, and we have Professor's Research, okay. Lastly, we have, oh, we do have something. Any guesses? We have, ooh, Ditto VMAX, yes. All right. All right, let's find a good sleeve. Let's use one of these new sleeves. That is one that I was wanting. Awesome. All right, guys, just two left. Try to see which one feels a little heavier. This one might feel just a hair heavier. Save it for last. Oh, not a, not a reverse Kyogre. Nice. Okay, I'll take that. This is a really pretty card as well. Just looks like glitter on there. That's awesome. Okay, we will see that up in a second. But first, okay, looks like just a regular rare Dreadnought. Okay. All right, cool. Last chance, guys. I think, based on this, we're going to find out if I really actually want to get another ETB like this again. Okay, for the front, moment of 
truth. Floatzel, that's one we haven't seen yet. Rusted Sword, Dartrix, Eevee, Horsey, Cacnea, Shinx, Naked, Reverse, Decidueye, and final card. Oh, we do have something. We're right about this being a heavier pack. I'm not even sure if this is full art, but what do we get? Ooh, full art Caraliss. That's pretty sweet. All right, no Charizard today, guys, but got some pretty cool stuff. Let's quickly put this on the sleeve first. As always, thanks a lot for joining me today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to support the channel and get more Pokemon card hunts and openings in the future. And you'll also want to check out some of these videos on screen next. Thanks a lot, and I'll catch you next time.